Hey, what's up, guys? We are Sight After Dark out of Brooklyn, New York, your new favorite band. I'm C for Graffiti. I'm Dan Berg. Check out our latest music. Hey, you up in the sun. Check us out reacting to Gil Scott Harris. Doing Home is where the hatred is, suggested by our patron Ancot Dub. Guys, be like Ancot, head to Patreon, subscribe, get in on our content. You don't wanna miss out on what we're doing over there on Patreon. And guys, if you like the video, thumbs up. when he sang. Mm -hmm. I love that about uh, Conscious Artists of the 70s. What's crazy about Conscious Artists of the 70s is like now I'm getting older. It's like now I can separate the the message from the music. It's like before the message is so heavy, right? And, and so detailed that you kind of forget how or you don't really pay attention to how excellent the musicianship is. So mm. it's like all I know like from growing up is like of Gil Scott Heron. But I don't know, like, who played with him. You right, know what I'm saying? Right, who right. were the badass players that were playing with him? Yeah, who was that key player? You know what I'm saying? And that's Rummer. I bet you guys know, though. Yeah, tell us. Mm -hmm. um, it was just powerful. I mean, mm -hmm. it was a song about addiction, yes? Mm -hmm. And it's like, you when he sang it, it's like, okay, he's been there. Mm -hmm. You know, like, that's just how it feels. It's like, it doesn't, it just feels so sincere mm -hmm. in the voice. Mm -hmm. And then... 
Yeah, it's like, well, that's the thing that's so crazy. It's like the interest rates were killing it so hard, but now all I think I can think about is him. It's kind of like what you were saying. It's mm-hmm. like, I was jamming so hard the whole time, but now that it's over, I'm just like, that's what I think about. What's yeah. the message? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. More mm-hmm. so than how crazy good the music was. Yeah, yeah. I find that a lot in 70s songs like this. It's like they leave you with that feeling of the, um, of the message. And it's like, it's just so interesting. You know, because the 70s, you know, economically were a hard time in America. So, like, a lot of people had a lot of things to say Mm -hmm. then. So, it's just like, wow, the impact of it. But at the same time, you're just like, should I be jamming or not? I know. That's what I was like. It feels weird jamming so hard to, like, such a sad Mm -hmm. song. Mm -hmm. Like, Mm -hmm. such a sad thing that he's talking about. And Mm -hmm. I'm just like, "Mm, let's go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And I had to literally stop myself and say, I'm like... I should pull back a little bit. I can't be too happy about this. You know what I mean? But they were jamming. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's interesting. What, um... I feel like this song just left, like, a literal imprint on me. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I, I, and it's because we're reacting to music, so it's like, should I pull up the rest of his music? Just in case we get... You know what I mean? I want to, like, dig deep into him now. And now it's like, maybe I shouldn't, just in case we get more Gil on the um channel. We'll, we'll see what decisions, happens. Decisions. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Maybe you guys got to suggest more, more of Mr. Scott Heron. Because mm-hmm. we're here for it. One hundred percent. Yeah, I, I don't even know. Did he? So obviously he writes the words. Did he write? Does he like arrange the music as well? I like I have no idea. Mm-mm, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I, I I honestly didn't even know he was a musician. Like playing. Like I didn't uh, hear he's at a piano. I didn't even know he could play. To be honest with you, I really didn't. Y'all let us know, because I, I want to know more. I thought it was all vocal. Like, I know it from, like, the revolution will not be televised. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what his face looks like. Like, mm-hmm. I've seen him in documentaries and stuff, but uh, digging deep into his music, I have not And we done did that. one song from him before. Yeah, we did yeah, one yeah, more yeah, one ago. song. And, yeah, it was like a... The bottle, I think. Yes. Yeah, yeah That's yeah. exactly what it was. Yeah, so for, like, 70s, in terms of, like, this is not soul music. Like, I'm more, like... I'm more like an R&B, like I know more R&B than anything from the 70s when we we're talking about like soul music and stuff like that. So I'm not like well versed in funk music mm-hmm. and I'm not versed in what kind of, I want to say what genre is this? Like what I is this know. called? Because it's not R&B, right? It's but not it, R&B, it's not funk. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And it's like... Is What's it, a genre? <laughs> what, is, what, what does it matter? <laughs> what category? I don't know where this falls in. But um, yeah, I would say for 70s, that's... This is a style of music that I just don't know. And this is exciting because now I get to dig deeper through you guys or through myself. Or through both. <laughs> True. Um, but yeah, shout out to Ankar for suggesting this. This was a great one. Mm-hmm. Guys, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button. It means a lot to us. Um, but we are going to be coming at you with more reactions soon. Until then, we're side After Dark. We'll see you next time.